In today's video, I'm going to be showing you really great ideas for organization. These are cheap organization items that I bought from Dollar Tree, Dollar Stores, and Walmart. So let's get right into it. Nothing that I bought here was over $5. So you can definitely do this on a budget. Let's show you how I organize my bathroom products. So here is the bathroom vanity. And I'm gonna kind of go a little bit by little bit, but I do put my toilet paper under here, it's just a lot easier. And then I am pregnant, so when I have a bath, I like to have this little pillow. And my postpartum care. So this is more so stuff that, just because I'm pregnant, I have. But the rest of the stuff is normal. So this little basket right here, it is from the dollar shop. It was, I believe, $2. And I put these all over my house, my kitchen, my closet, everywhere. They're so great and they're really sturdy. They have handles as well and they come in cute different colors. I like the more natural colors. When I first moved in, I did put some dollar store contact paper down. Then I got lazy when I was painting and accidentally painted over it. But honestly, at the time before I painted over it, it did help kind of make it look a lot neater in here. I have my makeup bag at the back and then in this little dollar store container I just have all of our products lined up so my daughter's hair stuff and dry shampoo mouthwash at the very back and these are great ways little cheap I think this was a dollar or 75 cents and great ways to organize now some of the labels did come off and some of them are a little funny so this one I put as shark week so normally when I'm not pregnant, this would have like my feminine hygiene product. When I was TTC, this also had like my pregnancy tests and stuff. But now that I'm pregnant, I just have a little bit of first aid stuff in here for now. This one is called Backups and literally it is like the miscellaneous drawer. So anything that we have seconds of, so like toothpaste, my makeup wipes, Q-tips, and like soap bar, any type of backup thing that we would need second of when we run out. I do keep in there. Shaving, kind of self-explanatory, but my husband and I keep our shaving stuff in here. And then this one is supposed to say hair, but the H fell off. This is where I keep my straightener, my curler, and my blow dryer all in here. So that is the kind of super easy setup we have going on down here. At the bottom, if you're curious, we just had a space underneath, so we slid one of these bins from Walmart. And at the moment, again, it just has postpartum stuff, but normally I would just kind of store any extra like towels or whatever I want under there really, probably after the baby, I'll probably put their baby bath stuff in there. In the drawers, I use the same system. I use these little Walmart kind of organizers. You can also find these at the dollar shop. This is my hair stuff and my daughter's. And the third one, you could fit a third one in, but this stuff didn't fit in the bucket, so I just kind of have it like that. And on this side, these drawers go really far back, but we have another little Walmart holder, and that was 75 cents, and we just put our toothbrushes, floss, toothpaste, everything in here. These set up, and this is where, right now, I keep some feminine hygiene products and whatever else. Usually my husband's cologne will be in one of those as well, but I did end up using it for here. I need to buy some more of those. So that's just, I just find it's a lot neater than having like the actual bag of this on the counter. Just think it looks a lot nicer like that. A really fun idea for your Q-tips is I just bought this dollar store jar and with my Cricut machine, I added just the tip on it um, just because my husband and I thought it was really funny, but you can kind of do whatever. You could put stickers or leave it blank. And what I did was I took normal, regular Q-tips and you fill the jar up. And I did this with Q-tips and then I also did them with cotton balls. And it's just a super cute way to have it set up on your vanity. My hallway closet is kind of similar. So I used a dollar store bucket that clips like this to put our medicine in, in and any like any medication we have really we keep up there. And normally our first aid stuff is up here this way the kids can't get into it. Then I bought this dollar store mop bucket and I just threw all of my cleaning supplies in there, which is also from the dollar store. This is a Walmart bin. I believe it was $5. And this is just where I keep some random documents that we need. Down here, we do have one of these dollar store buckets again. This one's a little bit larger, so this one was $3. And then this is where we're keeping the baby 
stuff. So any shower and bath stuff for the baby. And then just our towels in here as well. Honestly, super cheap organization and it works really great for us. We know what goes where. And if you're curious what's at the bottom, it is our giant shop vac. Works pretty great. And this is just the hallway closet that we have right next to our bathroom. 